We're here with Let's Kick It with the Joneses. See, I have my crew here. I just want to uh, let everyone know that we're thinking about you. Uh, for those of you who have been impacted by COVID-19, we're praying for you, your strength. We're praying for your health. Uh, for those of you who are you know, out here like everyone else, um, stay home, be safe, be well, and take care of yourselves. So let's kick it! been a lot going on since our last episode. Right. Facts. Right. A yeah, lot, I know, right? a lot like going on. Seems like we haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, and, we, uh, you know, we haven't recorded a bit, but you know, we're back and we just wanted to touch on what's 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 going on and obviously mm -hmm. everybody in the world is feeling mm -hmm. what's going on and um, yeah. this is a crisis and, it, and it's crazy. So far 2020 has not been the best year. No, it has not. 2020 has pretty much slapped us in the face. Yeah, this has been the longest like year and ever and it's only been three months right like it felt like a, it feels like two years at this point mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. definitely so. and i saw um an article that was talking about like the effect that this has on people who have like depression and oh. things like that and okay. how yeah. like there's so many negative effects emotionally and mentally that mm -hmm. has just been hitting everybody financially in the pocket oh, like, of course i've had so a crazy. lot of friends um lose work because of it a lot of people that have worked in like the entertainment industry mm. um you know you see a lot of productions have been shut down mm. like a lot of movies have been postponed put to later in the year or just sort of or just sort of uh, shut off indefinitely it's mm -hmm. crazy wow yeah. it's, it's it's just so it's so many pieces that's involved in this whole covid situation where do you begin you know with with these jobs yeah. and people's livelihoods like in the balance and they're talking about now maybe another month or two mm -hmm. of, of the whole shutdown it's 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 it's, it's yeah. bananas yeah. it's bananas i was riding down um deer park avenue uh one day and just to see the amount of businesses that are closed right. yeah. i was in I was literally in tears right. yeah. because you know how that impacts no. people, yeah. you know, not right. only the people who own the store, but the people who work in the store. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, well, you know, when this is over, how do they begin to rebuild? recover? How right. you how some that? can, some can't, some can't, some just right. can't because it's like? a day to day, you know, you got to pay the bills and right. you, you know, how do you recover? You know, obviously the big chains, they, they open anyway, you know, the big chain stores, but little mom and pop stores is how, how do you recover after a month, two months of not bringing any income in or your doors just shut down? Exactly. And it's I, something beyond your control completely, which is right. the craziest right. thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, right. you know, no one expected this and it's like, how, how, how do you cope with that? It's like, and, and so many people were affected by it in general, sort of like, I guess there's a, at least like a camaraderie in that way, like everybody. Everybody's right. going through it. Right, and I know people say that, but it's like, like you, like we're all going through it together, right? Mm -hmm. We're all struggling financially. Some a little bit more than others, yeah. but at the same time, it's like you're still struggling. So like when things get back to normal, like how, how right. do you get back to your bit? Like some people's businesses are done forever, yeah, yeah. and it's unfortunate. How do you get back into mm -hmm. the market? Like how do you do it? How do you do it? Yeah, and and another, you know, another part of it is definitely the mental you know, aspect of it. Yeah. This has made me even, of course, more <laughs> anxious. And, and I think the anxiety comes from, I mean, I just have free floating <laughs> anxiety on a normal basis, but um, you know, I, I think what happens is, you know, it's that uncertainty and not knowing yeah, and, and the just knowing. waiting. Right, <laughs> we were talking about this the other day. It's like you're waiting. It's not like something you can see. Right. You know, you can, like a storm come in or something like that right. trying to cover. You can pinpoint it. Right, it's room. like you're just sitting. It's like a, a horror movie. You're just waiting for mm -hmm. it to come. or It's waiting like the movie. mist. Yeah, it's like the mist. <laughs> right. But even in the mist, you see the mist. <laughs> right, right. You know? even right. Like, like bird boxes. Right. Yeah, right. It's, right. It's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. An yeah. another a part of that whole thing too, though, is the whole, you know, Cause you got you got to have businesses are open and certain things are open. You got your essential and non-essential workers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I guess I guess you could look at it two ways. Fortunately or unfortunately, you we have two. Marcus is an essential worker. I'm an essential worker. Yeah. Um, you're an essential worker. And, you know, you're you're an educator, so you're working. You're working from home. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But essential in terms of have to go out outside and, and, and go to your job. You know, me in the telecommunications field, the Marcus in the um, the news business. The news business. News business right. So just going out there every day, that's another ang- stressor. I have, I have straight up anxiety about leaving the house. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, like I've been. I mean, I've been having that. Like at my job, we have like wipes and all that stuff to you know clean up our like workstations and all that. But it's like. You know, you never, you don't know, and especially working in news and hearing about everything yeah. that's sort of like going on, it's just like it brings that up to like you hear like, everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I hear everything, and you know, it's, right. I'm going to different customer sites. I'm seeing people, you know, in some places. Business as usual, walking around, hovering. I'm like, oh, I got my little mask and my gloves. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, they want to come all up on you. I'm like, give me my space. Me yo, 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 six feet. Back six on feet. up, one. back on up. You know, and they're going about it. You know, people my rule is 10. Yeah, I don't care what's yeah. going on, but my rule is 10. But on the other side, I mean, you know, we talk about all this stuff, but I mean, you got the, the, uh, the, the nurses and EMS doctors and paramedics and even store clerks I don't even understand it man you go into the supermarkets and people steady coming through the lines and, and they're working they should be getting hazard pay as far as I'm concerned 100% yeah definitely like, they're, they're touching all kinds of things yeah and people just constantly people. up around them the whole bit it's dealing crazy. with so many people on a daily basis it's yeah. like you know more power to those workers who you know never have never been given like you know a fair shake mm-hmm. up until now when everybody needs them and it's right. like bro right. now you want to like they hollering them. about giving people fifteen dollars an hour, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But who who do we need in a crisis right, right. now? Mm-hmm. This just goes yeah. to show. You know I like what I'm saying? That post that you had yeah. on Facebook, I shared it. And it was like you know the celebrities and the athletes, the athletes you know, making these millions, millions and millions dollars. of dollars. But you when know, it whatever. comes down to it, yeah. who do we really who do we need? need? The educators, mm-hmm. the, yeah. the you know, your postal service. workers, your nurses, mm-hmm. your doctors, mm-hmm. and, you know, telecommunications people, see. people that's going out there keeping us living, yeah. literally. Right. right. You know, those are the people that deserve the more pay, more respect, you know, and we're seeing that now, so I'm, I'm hoping there's a, a mind yeah, shift, a shift, definitely. you know. Yeah. Considering so. that it's everybody, I hope so, because I mean, it, right. everybody right. is affected by it. Exactly, so, like, that's every, the point. It's not like it's no like in a corner, right. you know, and it's so like, oh, maybe the bubble in that corner. Business no, as usual. Right. Everybody it's has feeling. this, yeah, it's feeling it. In terms of the interaction with people, it's like, mm-hmm. I know, like, humans are naturally um, social beings yes Mm -hmm. and the fact that like I know that news story that we were just looking at where the mom was dying and she had to say goodbye to her children through a walkie talkie like oh my god Mm. that's I can't even like unfortunately I just had a a, a friend pass while this was going on couldn't go to the funeral right you know because it was you know couldn't go to the funeral couldn't go to the wake or nothing like that and it's Mm. just it's work. Even even with the people being in the hospital, you can't have nobody there with you. Yeah. yeah. At all. You know, which 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 makes sense. But you know, they they pass and they don't they don't even have their loved ones around them when these people are passing. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, yeah. that's why I, I I want to know what's going on. Obviously, you know, I'm watching the news, right. but mm-hmm. I can't it's, watch. It's it. a delicate. I, I really yeah, can't. I get that. You know, I'm not one to like. I can't watch CNN all day. And, yeah. and see what's going on. I, I just mentally, I can't handle it. No, you shouldn't. You <laughs> get, shouldn't yeah. do that to yourself. Yeah. You know, but there's you're I mean, yourself crazy. It's important. It's definitely important to be informed. Mm-hmm. So you know what's going on, but at the same time, you got to take time to, mm-hmm. I don't know, take up a hobby, do things that you like. Well, yeah, like, do some positive. Do some right. Things. Even me being a news junkie, I usually watch the news all the time. I, you know. When Cuomo comes on and when some, you know, but for the most part, I, I yeah, yeah. I, I, at this point, I, I really got to turn it off, too, yeah. because just hearing about, you know, the, the, the numbers that they're talking about, 100,000, 240,000 people, like, doubling daily, I don't want to hear that, I can't, yeah. I can't hear that every day, that just yeah. wears it's, on your it's, psyche. It's, it's it depressing, and I know I'm, I'm a journalist, I'm a news, and I have my site in Long Island, and I struggle with wanting to cover <laughs> plug I like that little plug. <laughs> um, but I struggle with, you know, wanting to cover every single aspect of coronavirus because that's all we're talking about. But it's right. like, I don't want to overwhelm people and I don't want to overwhelm myself, yes. even though I'm in news. I, got, mm-hmm. I don't want to, like... You got to give yourself a break. Yeah. You got to take a little break.
what have the Joneses been doing now that we get to spend more quality time together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been watching anime. I've been catching up on like old school anime. That's nothing new. I mean, that, <laughs> I mean yeah, but that's more Tuesday. So. Well, but, I mean, that's a Tuesday. Now I have pre COVID. Well, now I have the time November to do Tuesday. more of it. Like, I mean, of it. you know, like playing more games than you know, normally. Like, you were doing, what you, you were playing that uh, with your friends. Uh, oh, D&D? D&D. Well, yeah, I was yeah, playing, yeah. As, it's this uh, D&D game called, Dragon, Dungeons and Dragons game called uh, Call of, of Cthulhu. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have it actually. Cthulhu? Cthulhu. Yeah, Cthulhu. You know, like the, you know, like the HP <laughs> Lovecraft monster, you know, yeah. Legends in the Madness. <laughs> Yeah. Lovecraft. <laughs> I know that. You know I that? Think. Okay. Yeah, he, he's a big racist. Oh. His cat is like, look up his cat's name. We're not going to say it on here, but his cat's, it's bad. But Lord. the game is fun. The game itself, <laughs> not, that he made, not that he made the game, he just made like the lore, but the game itself is fun because it's like you go insane and all this stuff. It's, uh, it's You fun. don't need the game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. But, it's, 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 it's how about quarantine indie. Quarantine indie. What have you been doing, Maya? I've been dedicating more time to plug again, Shades of Wonder. <laughs> mm. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> been strategizing. Local content. Local content. Local content. Local content. Y'all are trolls. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just dedicate more time to that. Spending time with y'all. Watching, uh, what did we go? Oh. Oh my God. Tiger King. That's a whole nother episode. Yeah, Tiger King. Oh, there's a whole, yeah, that could be episode. a whole episode breakdown of that, that madness. That's true. Yeah. But, yeah. I only saw the first episode as of right now, as of today. Yeah. Cast of characters. Cast of characters. Oh my God. Yeah. Catching up on shows. Yeah. What about so I was sick. For that, that about a, a week. That was a whole thing. And yeah. you know, so that added more to the anxiety. Yeah, that made me a little anxious. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. like, made everybody anxious, especially since I was sleeping down on the couch. <laughs> We essentially quarantined her. Yeah. We didn't know what, you know, the deal was going on. So, yeah, 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 I'm not a hundred. I mean, I, my, I don't have any symptoms except, you know, I don't feel like, you know, I'm tired or what have you, but um, I've been working. That's what I've been doing. Just the purpose is she did go, and she did go to a doctor to check up. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and working from home is the worst, is the worst you don't like thing. It. I do not like it. I do <laughs> not like it. Why don't you like it? You know what, I don't like it because you know, as much as I complain about my job, I like being with my people. And not having that camaraderie with, you know, with the office is, is hard. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been doing Zoom meetings, so we're able to loud do that. Zoom meetings loud too. Zoom meetings. Yeah, but it should be real loud on that meeting. I, they be, I have my earbuds now. Um, Thank still you. Be loud. <laughs> but it's not, we're educators. We're supposed to be with kids and people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. teachers and, you know, so it's, it's very, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very, it, it's, I don't like it. That whole homeschooling thing is a whole. You gotta give these teachers. The oh man, <laughs> that yeah. whole homeschooling situation is, is definitely crazy. the virtual learning is yeah, 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 crazy. Parents are going crazy. Yeah, they realizing what's going on with like, like, the teachers. Right, like, <laughs> like this you is know? what you do every day. <laughs> <laughs> right, I gotta give Miss Crabtree her promise. Right? <laughs> She's dealing with thirty of y'all every day. Oh, oh my god. Or sometimes a hundred plus if yeah. you have uh, you know five five classes. Right. right? Yeah. yeah. It adds up. Yeah, yeah, so you know, it's you not. You're just taking care of your one kid and you're right. going insane. Exactly. Right. And it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I just want to let parents know that I know it's very stressful. You know, I, I was talking to someone, they have three kids, three different grade levels, and you know, they have to help them, and it's very difficult. And mm-hmm. you know, my advice to them would be chill. Everybody's in the same boat. You right. know, if the kid doesn't get what they need to get done because they just, you can't help them. And, Exceptions don't. will be made. That's right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> in that aspect, I'm glad our kids are young adults. Oh my goodness! Listen, I can, I can remember. Listen. I can remember trying to do their homework <laughs> and, and being baffled <laughs> with, the, with the new math and all that stuff. I'm like, help! I'm like, Burdell. I need a tutor. You no, know? we would ask them. We say. Did you learn this in class? Right, right. <laughs> and they're like, no. I'm like, look, your teacher did not give you homework. Right. That you can't that complete. That you didn't know. You didn't right. know. Come you on. Over, right. Hey, they didn't teach it well. No. Oh, oh, man. Man. You, you know we didn't know. Especially you know? with the new stuff. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I know. I'm definitely very, 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 very happy that I am not mm. in school during this time, especially as a mm. senior. Oh, that yeah, sucks. That yeah, really whether sucks. in college or in high school. Right. 
retarded. No graduation, no prom, yeah. no. It sucks. Yeah. You can be like those kids in Japan doing in Minecraft. Mm. Oh yeah, you just mentioned that. Yeah. Minecraft. Yeah. Like um, some uh, some students held a graduation ceremony in Minecraft. Oh, the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The characters yeah. all came together. Do it, do it virtu- I guess do it virtually. Do, it virtually. do it Minecraft, yeah. Animal Crossing. That's big right now. Mm-hmm. Like so many people. Like I'm playing. That's another thing I've been doing in this quarantine <laughs> time. Playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> Y'all don't get it, trust me, it's a it's a big thing. Yeah, I've heard of Marcus Animal Crossing. Is chilling. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's All the, the, the takeaway the takeaway from this is Marcus is chilling. Gamers are ruling the earth. You know, <laughs> right. yeah, no worries. You understand? As far as quarantine life is concerned, I'm good. I got I got everything I need. He had quarantine room. life pre quarantine. <laughs> Yeah. Marcus go up in his room. We don't see him. Like, <laughs> He's ghosts. He's ghosts. Yeah, I know. So, I know. What have but, you been up to, Dad? But as far as me, like I said, I've been working. I took, I actually took off this week because I just mm-hmm. didn't want to be out there in the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know, I've been um, watching TV, catching TV. I'm getting my music together. I've been, I've been mm-hmm. wanting to do it for a long time. Get getting my little music library together. Right. I like the fact of the, the people. Just like with, um, I don't know if anybody has seen the whole D Nice. On Instagram, his oh, DJing yeah. situation where he had that was cool. popping. Yeah, yeah, like I don't know, four hundred thousand, whatever it was, mm-hmm. on at one time. That's a beautiful thing, man. You know, from star celebrities to your everyday person was on right. there jamming out. You know what I'm saying? Grooving cool. to his music. That was that's really, a, that's that was a beautiful really thing. Cool. Yeah, it's nice. Club quarantine. Club quarantine. Club quarantine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The thing is about this too, like so, I'm mm-hmm. working from home, and this mm-hmm. is a whole new thing. Like, I honestly don't have time <laughs> during the day to do some stuff. It's a Zoom meeting here and doing this yeah. here. And I'm mm-hmm. like, seriously? And I think that it's interesting, the surge of technology and how much, mm-hmm. like, I know certain industries aren't doing so well, but certain yeah. industries like Zoom. Oh. I never heard of Zoom booming. until this all went down. Yeah, if anybody got stock in Zoom, they about to be rich because oh, Zoom yeah. and, and, you know, this Wi-Fi technology and all mm-hmm. that stuff is about to be made. Oh, man. Yeah. But before we get off on that, let's... The whole, okay, so everybody's home, this whole social distance thing, right? What is up with these people that don't want to listen to what's going on? I don't know if they... they... My parents? (laughs) Oh, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Bob and Ms. Shirley, they do not want to stay home. Your father just can't stay home. He at the church, he at 7-Eleven, he got to get his coffee. He's like, he's bored. Yeah. I'm like, read a book. <laughs> right. You know, you TV, you got net. He has he, Netflix. He has Netflix. Yeah. You fixed it. I did. I don't know if I fixed it, but <laughs> it should be fine now. If he's got the out in the parks no. playing <laughs> basketball. Yeah, I know. Uh, I Governor know. Cuomo just had to shut the parks down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, because then people not listening. People you know, the whole on the at the beach. Break. Yeah, the spring breaks and no, all that. Was, that was insane. That was bananas. You saw, you saw kids being like, you know, hey, if I get it, whatever, I'm young and healthy. It's like, yo. You could still die from this. Yeah, like, you can know. bring it to your bring parents it to and your grandparents. Bring it to your yeah. grandparents. You don't, want, you don't want your grandma or grandpa to, that's right. you know, if you're asymptomatic and you bring it over there, you don't know right. what's going to happen. And you yeah. may not die, but you don't want to be sick. You don't right. want to be sick. Exactly. It's a bad sick. It's a bad sick. Right. You feel like even healthy people have been feeling like crap really, with really it, bad. and you doing that. If you go to the hospital, you're taking it from someone who is older that could possibly, die. you know, yeah. die from it. Right. And unfortunately, now you're hearing as the thing goes on, healthier people that had no symptoms and no illnesses dying from right. it. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So yeah. I mean, you don't know until it's you know. Why, why tempt fate? Why tempt fate? Yeah. Why, why tempt fate? Stay home. Stay, stay home. home. What's the stay- point? Stay home. Exactly. Hashtag stay, stay home. Hashtag stay that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop up here somewhere. Hashtag stay home. <laughs> stay that That's asshole. Right. That's right. Yes. Come on, you know, do it. And everybody has to do it in order for it to work. I right. Guess. If we want this to, country. if we want to flatten the curve, yeah. mm-hmm. right. The, the more we do this, the sooner we can get this. The sooner, right. You don't yes. want to do it now, then they didn't do it, then now it comes right. back again, and then yeah. now we got to do it some more. Come on. Let's do it and get in, and be done with it. Nice. I want my theaters back. Let's do this. Yeah, Marcus <laughs> ain't been to the movies in a minute. Yeah, that's crazy. the only thing that's... Man, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that I'm kind of like, eh, yeah. about. Yeah, he's like... Not the only thing, obviously, but, you know. Yeah. I need them theaters. <laughs> <laughs> Shades of Long Island is a website and a media outlet that highlights stories related to minorities, millennials, and Generation Z on Long Island. Check out the site because you're going to get great content, diverse content, local content, Long Island content. What's 
next? I mean, coming out of this, obviously, things are going to change. Oh, yeah. Things are going to be real different. This has different. a lasting impact, oh, for no sure. Question. We yeah. haven't faced it. We haven't seen nothing like this. I know it for sure in your life, in our lifetimes. Mm. Not since the 1918, the, um, the Spanish flu. I mean, I think yeah. the, the thing that comes closest to, you know, a, a tragedy would be 9-11. Mm. You know, and how right. things drastically change after 9-11. Yeah. I think sometimes we kind of forget yeah. what was going on before 9-11 and then what happened after 9-11. Mm -hmm. And things changed. And, and I think this is Even, another... Yeah, another like 100 le big. levels above that. Because <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. 9-11, it, affect, I mean, it affected the world, but I mean, it was more like, I think you well, mentioned this before, it was kind of like a ripple effect. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it was like New York big, country big, and other right. places yeah, in the world, yeah. sure. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Knew about, but this is literally affecting everybody the in the world, world at the same Time. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely, Crazy. and and things, you know, things. There's, you have to look at the positives after we weather this storm. We really understand what matters. I know. I think your brother had shared a, a, a meme with celebrities and not wearing makeup or something like that, and it was like, oh, they're oh, so brave. Thank and you for like, sharing their stories. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Not, wearing, not wearing makeup or something. Right, like not wearing makeup. Yeah. And you know what, and it was, you know, it was, it was, of course, it was sarcastic, you know, tongue in cheek, but this is what we valued. And now there's a whole nother set of values that we, we're gonna be taking into account. All right, and I hope that lasts. We need to honor the people who really, like you said, keep keep our country, keep our world, keep our world going. going. How do you, how do we support people better? Right. Mm -hmm. And and what we spend our money on, mm -hmm. you know, um, again, who we you know acknowledge and, yeah. and honor. But how how do we, you know, support those that are in, you know, that are in those essential positions? Right. Well. well Definitely, well, monetarily, like Marcus said, with the tips, that's one mm -hmm. way you could do that for sure. Mm -hmm. Just let them know they appreciate it too. That's a, that know, too. That goes a lot. That's what goes a long way. Yeah. But on the, on the opposite side, because you know we're talking about the positives, you know what's next. Right. In terms of also moving forward, you got to think, right? So okay, so in New York, they're talking about we're not at the apex yet. The apex keeps moving every week, right? <laughs> so, but eventually we'll get there and we'll start coming down. It's like, so you talk about June, July, August. It's like, man, I really. I don't know if I want to travel anywhere like no time soon, yeah. no time this year. Right. I don't want to go nowhere. Yeah. I don't take wanna, any risk. But yeah, I'm not. I'm, I don't want to take any risks. So there's going to be a slow in the economy yeah. because people are gun gun shy. Until we hear something about a vaccine, which isn't supposed to even be out until Another maybe yes, around this time right? next year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. If, and they have yeah. to they have to test it to make sure that it's not lethal. Yeah. Right. Things like that. Right. Until they start talking about some vaccine that you know that you can go get immunized or whatever right. if you get it. It's like, mm. I think that that also depends on the age. Because I was talking with my friend um, Wayne the other day and her mm. sister Aurel, and we were talking about how your older people are probably going to be more cautious as opposed to younger people who are going to be like finally and go all out. So yeah. I think I mean, we there's already, definitely going to be that. We were already yeah. that sort of before, right, it got before, as bad as it was. Right. It was like, oh, ticket prices are cheap. I'm going to exactly. da, 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 da. I'm Ridiculous. gonna be happy just to be able to go to Costco without no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we at Costco. We at yeah. Costco. No line. No line. <laughs> right. right. I don't crazy game. No. You know, going back into Dagon City. Right. Right. Yeah. Like in yeah. the just park. In New York City. Well, like me and your mom were talking about that this morning. Like Times Square. Are people gonna be traveling to New York like that? Especially being New York was an epicenter be, at yeah, first. Be kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Are people gonna be coming here and you know sightseeing? The younger and people around? probably are because the ticket yeah, prices. The younger people ain't got no money. That's true. <laughs> in New York, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might take advantage of the cheap oh, right. prices, right? Hotels right, yeah, might be right. slashed in yeah. there. Because right. they want business. Because right. they want business, exactly. yeah. Yeah, business yeah. Airlines. Airlines. Right. Airlines. Yeah. So, like, so, when I remember when, you know, this was first going down, I was listening to uh, Karen Hunter, and she had my man Torin Ellis on, mm -hmm. and he was what talking, up, <laughs> and he was talking about, you know, the opportunities right. it, as a result of this. So, you know, like delivery, right? people are going to be making money. There's a, there are some industries that are going to be booming. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, like and how do you leverage the, that? How do you but, leverage yeah. that? As, a, as an individual who may have had a business who doesn't now, how can you leverage that? Right. And how yeah. can you spread out the wealth right. and help other businesses mm -hmm. that That's, work, a, that's a good thing for somebody, you know, Smarter than me to be thinking about right now while you got this time, you know, and you're seeing what's going on, getting your wheels 
emotion and thinking about, you know, right. you what, do, know what do people need right now? What, what do, do people, people need, need and what, you know, somebody can really launch That's off right. of this and really, oh, definitely. you know, That's take, right. off, That's take right. off from, and, from a situation. And like even that. with businesses, businesses that exist right now have to change up their change whole, their whole approach, right. infrastructure. That's their whole right. strategy. Their whole strategy. Like, right. work from home is like, you know, y'all, you guys were talking about that some, at, at one point, like, um, yeah, ain't no excuse about working from home anymore. <laughs> right. There is right. no excuse to tell you that's true. that you can't do that. That's anymore. right. That's right. Because everybody is. Right. But on the other side of the coin, some businesses might be like, yeah, I'd rather you do that. You know what I'm saying? Only because they they don't have to, you know, they may be able to save money in terms of office space and oh, people absolutely. or whatever. Absolutely. If they can yeah. have you working at home absolutely. from your, you absolutely. know, they can right. save a lot of money having workers work from home if they work just as diligent or whatever, right. and depending right. on the job, you know. So there's probably, what, what I see is like uh, people, you know, more people working remotely, obviously, but the um, more of like these quarterly meetings. There's definitely a silver lining for sure in the sense that this has, well, for the people that do stay at home together with families and stuff like that, I think bonding has increased and, you know, the people that I've talked to about the situation, they say, oh, you know, I have kids and when I'm at home, I'm doing something for work or I'm going out to an event or doing this, that, and the third. I think it's definitely increased bonding within the family homes and then even through social media. So I hope I've that, talked you know, to, I was talking about the d d thing before. I've, I've talked to friends I haven't spoken to, you know, mm. like, you know, a little bit. You know, yeah. some I speak to regularly, some I haven't spoken to right. in a bit. And it's like, oh, cool, we're getting together and doing this thing. Right. So yeah, you know, familiar bonds, friendship bonds, you yeah. know, just in a time of, you know, everyone want to just sort of like be together. And connect. Yeah, connect. Right, Definitely. yeah, impromptu Zoom. Meetings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've, I've done, like I said, Marcus said, you know, I didn't know about Zoom really until the other day. And we had like two or three Zooms in one day. It's encouraged you to, you know, connect like yeah. on yeah. somewhat of a more regular basis, yeah. even yeah. if it's, you know. You want, that, you want some sort of interaction with people, you know, yeah. Yeah. outside of your family, whoever you're quarantined with or what have you. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But, you know, I don't know. This is like it's crazy. We, it's a, you know it's a new normal. We got to get yeah. used to this for at least a little bit longer than yeah. You know, and come out on the other end, uh, you know, bigger and better. Better know, for it. Better Definitely. for it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and washing our hands. Wash them hands. <laughs> wash those hands. Hashtag yeah. wash your hands. Right, right. <laughs> stay home. Stay home. Yeah, stay that ass home and wash them damn hands. <laughs> you know when you come home, take your shoes and clothes off. That's yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Disinfect. <laughs> you know. And carry wipes and hand sanitizer. Yeah. Get some gloves. Yeah, in I can't yeah. wait. Just be clean. Just be, be clean. clean. Just be I can't clean. wait until we don't have to do that. But you know, still. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, carry the wipes. Oh, oh, oh okay. no. Uh, I, listen, I wash my hands all the time. So these people out here, they. Yeah. Question. Out of, out of, shoot, the, the first time I see a person do <laughs> but, yeah. that. Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> to a store or something, got to get to the bathroom, unfortunately. And I see somebody walk out wide me, he getting beat down. <laughs> no. He might get jumped. You know what I'm saying? Nasty. <laughs> I got you yeah, watching his hands. Get, get, him. Him. Get, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, so y'all be safe out there. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. Be safe, y'all. Yes. Be safe. Mm -hmm.